What is up guys, Andrew with No Excuses TV here and today the video that you we have for you is a fly tying video but it's not one that I've actually tied. Oh, I've tied the fly but this is not me tying it. So when I first got into fly tying I bought the Scientific Anglers like beginner fly tying kit, right? And so the thing that they sent, they had all the materials with it, they also sent a DVD of the, the instructions how to tie the fly. So the problem is is I didn't have a DVD player whenever I got this. And so I had a big time, a big struggle trying to figure out how to <clears throat> learn the techniques. And so I emailed, they told us that there's plenty of stuff on YouTube uh, to figure out how to tie those ties, the, the, the flies that they were in that video. The problem was, was I couldn't find one that lined up exactly with the materials that they had provided. So it would have required me to buy more materials or use other stuff, excuse me, and I didn't want to do any of that. So. What I did is I went through and broke all of the videos down for their specific flies, and that's what you have here. And so this is a specifically for the fly, Scientific Angler's a Beginner Fly Tying Kit. It's the video that goes with it in case you don't have a DVD player. Here you go. Again, I'm not going to monetize any of this because it's not my material, but I wanted a place online that I could reference this in re, at a resource instead of having to... To rely on having a DVD player, which as as we continue to move forward is going to be less and less common. Um, and so if you need one, here you go. So anyway, hope you liked the video. They do a great job tying this fly. This fly. Uh, make sure you like this video. Uh, if you want other content that's not specifically fly tying, but just fly fishing, outdoor, hiking, camping, rock climbing related, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the note or ding that, click the notification bell so you never miss the next video. Welcome to Introduction to Fly Tying. My name is Greg Vinci, and I'll be your instructor who will take you on a journey that will provide you skills and knowledge that will greatly enhance your fly fishing experience. Though this video will provide you with all of the basic skills, there is not enough time in this video to go over the fine points of tying flies. I strongly recommend that you get some personal instruction whenever possible. Instruction can be found at fly fishing shows, fly club meetings, and at your local fly shop. Now we're going to learn the parts of the fly. They are the tail, the abdomen, the thorax, and the legs. The tools that we'll be using are the bobbin, bobbin threader, hackle plier, half hitch tool, scissors, and hair stacker. The thread spool is attached by snapping it in between the arms of the bobbin. We then take the bobbin threader and insert it into the tip of the bobbin so that it protrudes from the base. Then we take the end of the thread and insert it into the protruding wire loop of the bobbin threader. Finally, pull the loop up through the tube and out of the tip. In order to even the hairs of the clump of elk hair we use for hair wing flies, such as the elk hair caddis we will tie later in the video, we use a device called the hair stacker. We begin by cutting a clump of elk hair or deer hair that we are using to tie our hair wing fly. It is important to brush the hair to remove the underfur so that the hair packs evenly in the hair stacker. Now place the tips of the hair into the flared top of the hair stacker and push down. To remove the packed hair, we slowly rock the flared tube of the hair stacker 
while gradually removing it from its base. It helps if you hold the hair stacker with the base slightly elevated. The hackle plier are used to facilitate handling of delicate materials such as hackle when being wound onto the fly. Squeeze the pliers between your thumb and forefinger and clip the jaws onto the tip of the hackle and then gently wrap the hackle around the shank of the hook. Be careful not to put pressure on the hackle as it will easily break. Gives the impression of a caddis fly sitting on the water that might get away if the fish doesn't act quickly. The materials and tools we'll use to tie the elk hair caddis are dubbing, brown hackle, hook, elk hair, bobbin and thread, scissors, half inch tool, and hair stacker. Like the other patterns, we begin by wrapping the thread back towards the bend of the hook. The first step is to take the hackle feather and remove the softer barbules attached to the butt end of the stem. We'll now tie it in to the bend of the hook. Now dub the thread and begin wrapping forward to about an eighth of an inch behind the eye of the hook. Be particularly careful to allow for plenty of space so that the eye does not get crowded when we finish. Crowded eyes make threading the hook with your tippet very, very difficult. Once the abdomen has been dubbed, make several wide wraps of hackle, making sure that the wraps are evenly spaced. Now make several tight wraps of thread to make sure that the hackle is secure. Now we're ready for the wing. Cut a clump of deer hair or elk hair, brush it clean just as we did in the hair stacker demo earlier in the DVD, and place it into the hair stacker. Remove the stacked hair and carefully place it on the shank of the hook. The length of the wing should be the same as the distance between the eye of the hook and the bend. Make a couple of loose wraps over the elk hair clump and then wrap gradually tighter and tighter until secure. Make a couple of tight wraps just behind the eye, then tie in three half hitches.
trim the butt ends of the wing and apply head cement to the wing wraps and to the half hitches behind the eye. There you have it. You now have all the skills necessary to embark on a lifetime of tying flies. When you're on the stream, remember to pinch your barbs, release your fish, and keep our waterways clean.